Guys, we are Miami. We are the you. And every time you hear that, every time you see that on a shirt, on a commercial, at a game, that's got to mean everything. Oh, boy. Yikes. With that, the Oregon Ducks find themselves out of love once again. Mm -hmm. For yes. the third time in five years, they're searching for a new head coach. Man. And we are here to help. Yes, we are. I'm Orlando alongside the one and only Art Edwards, and it is time to play the coaching game. <laughs> Our new bachelor is the University of Oregon, coming off a 10-win season, headed to the Alamo Bowl. Let's meet some potential suitors. First up, he likes building powerhouse defenses and playing in the college football playoff. Meet Dan, behind door number two. He's a fan of innovative offenses, mm. and you've had some of the best times of your lives with him. This is Chip, everyone. Door number three. He also likes strong defenses and taking walks along the Great Salt Lake. Okay. Meet Kalani. And behind door number four, he's another fan of good defenses, and his roots run deep in the Willamette Valley. Everyone, this is Justin. You've probably heard these names all week, but the choice was narrowed down. Several famous players of the past wanted their voices heard. Names like Joey Harrington, Marcus Mariota, Justin Herbert. They signed off on a letter asking School Brass to remember Oregon's roots for this hire. They didn't name names, but some told our friend John Canzano they wanted Justin Wilcox to take over. Canzano tells us the school made a That's couple of runs at Wilcox. He said, thanks, no. but no thanks. It's not you, it's me. Okay, I <laughs> probably made up that, <laughs> last part. that last part. But fear not, here on the coaching game, the Ducks have found their man. Someone ready for commitment. From door number one, it is Dan Lanning. He's 35 years old. He will be one of the youngest in FBS next season. He was defensive coordinator at the University of Georgia for the past three seasons, leading arguably the best defense in the country. Dan Lanning is a two-time Broyles Award finalist given to the top assistant coach in the game. Considered an elite recruiter, he's had multiple top 10 recruiting classes. He's worked for coaches like Nick Saban and Kirby Smart. Mm -hmm. In a release, Lanning said he's honored and humbled. The goal is to win championships. An introductory press conference is scheduled for Monday. And oh, by the way, <laughs> Lanning and the Ducks face Georgia. Next season. Wow. Okay, so check it out. The Lanning family has touched down in Eugene, meeting with his new team for the very first time. According to GoDucks.com editor Rob Mosley, Lanning said, this is like Christmas Day for me. <laughs> I chose this place, and I'm lucky enough it chose me back. So, Art, do you like the hire? You know, a little bit hard to say. I mean, he's a young guy. He mm -hmm. seems really enthusiastic. I like the fact that he likes defense. You can find an offensive coordinator that can get things fired up on that side of the ball. He's just young, and he hasn't coached. He hasn't been a head coach yet. I was really interested to see how Oregon went the route of defense. Yes. As they load up to get ready to face a right. team at USC mm -hmm. and Washington yep. with new head coaches. That, that really worked the offensive side of the ball. Right, and uh, so yeah. I know one of the things that Mario Cristobal has been able to do at Oregon is make people believe that you can recruit and sure. do it at a high level. Yes. I think that also plays into it, and well, the resume speaks for itself at Georgia. Well, it does, you know, and he's been a recruiting coordinator, one of the key recruiters at every school where he's been. He's gonna need it right now. I mean, Oregon's in a little bit of trouble. I think their class was ranked ninth at one point mm -hmm. in terms of recruiting. Now it's down to like 22, because guys, you know, the kids are saying, some of them are just not going to sign just yet. I right. think they want to see what's going to go on. Some have already made choices to go to other schools. And that really plays into why Oregon had to put the pedal to the sure. metal and make this hire so quick. Right. Because you're seeing, you know, four, right. three-star recruits saying, uh, I'm getting uh, a little nervous, I want out. Or I'm right. seeing Cristobal's going to Miami, maybe I want to go there, there instead of staying right. in Eugene. So I think a lot plays into 
why this happened so Absolutely. quickly. Well, and, you know, signing day is, is December the 15th, mm -hmm. what, Wednesday. Right. I, you know what? Ultimately, they're going to change that mm -hmm. because of all of the uh, the changes in the coaches. Mm -hmm. You can't have the signing day in the middle of December mm -hmm. when people don't know who's going to be coaching the team. Right. That's tough for a high school oh. kid to make those type Absolutely. of decisions, man. Can't do it. So. We'll see. Now it's right. on to putting together that coaching staff around yes. him. We'll see what direction they go. But right now, I know a lot of Ducks players are excited. You're yes. seeing the Twitter feed come through saying <laughs> stuff like Dan is the man. Right. Love well, it. we'll find out when he <laughs> has to coach that first game. Oh, but yeah. spicy way to open the year man, with Georgia, fun. man. Boy, that is something else. Yeah. <laughs> so Ducks fans. Buckle up. That's right. Get ready. The great philosopher Ooh. Willie Taggart once said. <laughs> anyway, 